Hello guys, um, I would like to show you how to configure this Spring Boot um, port or how do you configure port for Spring Boot application. Um, by default, the Spring Boot uses port 8080 which is, for example, I have this uh, simple project here. If I try to run this project, you see, look at the console here careful you see the tomcat started on the port 880 so by default the spring boot use this if you don't specify then it's run on this port 880 and if you go to the browser uh, if you type here and then you see if I run this then it's 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 successful if I try to change the port and then put that one and then you see immediately we have uh, the site cannot be reached so I, I would like to show you just in case if you want to change the port uh, to use any port of your desire any port like you like so uh, you see here this is my project and by default you have these resources on the resource you need to add the file it's a configuration file which is um, uh, we add this this file is the application dot properties okay and then here it's where you can add the server port of your desire if whatever you like so you just the command uh, or the script uh, server dot uh, port whatever you like you can just add let's say this port and then you save save your application and then shut down and then we clear the console here and then run the application and then we see let's see if there is any changes so still we get this port 880 which means which means there is something is not right so let me see how did I write the file on the properties yes I made a mistake so I have to delete this file I can refactor and rename this is it should be application application dot properties and then refactor and then you see even it has changed the logo here and then we shut the system again the application and then we start again the application and let's see the outcome okay now here you see we have port 2020 so if we go back to our application and change this 2020 you see it's returned from outwired which is uh, this project here I created a simple project uh, the service return this one so what if we what if we 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 change the port to zero let's see just for curiosity let's see let's change to zero and shut the system down the application and then clear the console and then start the application again so we will find out from the console what kind of port I use so you can see it has is it just generate the random port which is this one you put zero so if I clear again just remember that this is 596337 and then we shut down again the and then we start the application again and then we see you see now it's different port number so if you take this port number and then you come back to the browser if you try to refresh the page then you get this side gonna be reached so what we have to do let's just paste the let's paste the port number that I copied from the console and let's see if 
yes so we can reach so just in case if you change the port to zero then you can just copy the port number from here that's generated I think randomly and I don't know what the logic behind but yeah that's what I find out so I think this video was helpful for those of you who like who wanted to know how to change the port number on Springboard and I hope you like the video and share and subscribe and have a great day bye bye